Hey, I'm Laura. I'm 26 years old and from the UK, but living in the Gold Coast of Australia. This August, myself and my boyfriend Aidan decided to pack up and begin traveling as digital nomads for the next six months. Currently, we're in Europe, and I'd love you to join us on our journey as we navigate work and travel for the first time ever. everybody so it is 6 30 a.m and we've just left the apartment and are on our way the very short walk to fisherman's ba bastion bastion fisherman's bastion um which is just next to the buddha castle it's part of the buddha castle um we decided to get up a little bit earlier and get there before the crowds hit see a little bit of the sunlight see if we can get some good content <music> <laughs> this is later than what you've been getting up anyway, Helen. <laughs> Saying goes, hustle never sleeps. Now, the one thing that truly is incredible about this time in the morning is that sunlight. Almost gives you the perfect lighting that you don't need to get do much editing to, and just really wakes you up in the morning. One of the best pieces of advice I can give you when going to a popular tourist destination just like the beautiful Fisherman's Bastion or Budapest Castle, is to get there early. You will be among the handful of content creators, photographers, videographers, and even those having their wedding pictures taken. Stephanus Rex, like a T-Rex. Stephanus Rex. <laughs> Who is he? Stephanus Rex. Yeah, more himself. Can't do that. Cool, isn't it? upload speed is pretty crap so we're on our way to a cafe called Dorado to use their internet we've heard they've got pretty fast speeds so let's see how it goes and if it if it reduces the upload time from 100 hours down to at least one protesters have laid belongings to Holocaust victims in front of a controversial monument which was erected in 2014. This angel statue was created in memory of the victims who fell during World War II 
However, protests began as many claimed the statue is in fact a lie, as among those deads were actually tens of thousands of Jewish refugees from Poland who were deported to German-occupied territories by a Hungarian government that was allied to the Nazi Germany for the first five years of the war. Seeing this really makes you think about how media portrays certain historical and still even modern stories, and it's difficult to know what to believe. Another more well-known tribute are the shoes on the Danube promenade. This moving memorial depicts the shoes left behind by the thousands of Jews who were murdered by the Arrow Cross. With different styles of women, men and even children's shoes, this memorial really adds a sense of personalisation to each of those poor individuals who were forced to death. Whilst these are both shocking and emotional memorials, I think it's a must-see to really understand the history and respect those who were unfortunately lost way too soon. much more interesting than the Australian Parliament House. It's not quite as dull as everyone's favourite city camera, but um, it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. Um, they seem to have a thing for lions in Hungary. And there's lion statues everywhere, there's statues everywhere, like over there, you know, like there. There's more statues obviously up there. <laughs> um, I think there's some over there as well. But um, no, so if, if you're looking to find statues, come so this evening we're heading to one of the ruin bars or a couple if we get the chance to um, just to see what all the hype is about. Now the ruin bars are one of the top things to do in Budapest and they're quirky little iggledy piggledy bars with music, dancing and a little bit of alcohol. We've decided we're gonna leave the camera here and go onto our phones just to be safe. <laughs> or should I say afternoon actually, time is flying by. Uh, we've just spent the morning doing some work, some really good conversations with some of the clients that we work with. Feeling a little bit uh, under the weather from last night, shall we say. We had so much fun, the room bars were incredible, lots of people dancing. We actually ended up going to two ruin bars. The first one that we went to is the most famous one. It's called Simpler Cut. It's kind of all over the place, very derelict. It's almost got like an inside outside theme. There's a bathtub that people can sit in and the music was was pretty good in there. We actually ended up getting a shisha in there. Now it's the first time Aidan and I have done shisha together and it was pretty cheap compared to what we see in Australia so we thought we'd give it a go. It was 20 euros. We decided to get mango, frozen mango flavoured which we kind of regretted in the end just because it really did taste like horrible um, but Whatever, it was an experience. I'm glad we didn't spend too much on it. But you know, we've done it now. We can tick that box and say that we've done that. The second ruin bar that we went to. Aiden, what was the second ruin bar that we went to called? Okay, instant info guys. And the second ruin bar that we went to is called Instant or Instant and Fogus has. <laughs> 
And the second ruin bar that we went to is called Instant and Fogus Has, or something along those lines. That one's great if you do love to have a little dance, a little boogie. They've got six different rooms, all playing different music. They had a rock room, um, they had like a R&B style room. So we went there at the end of the night. We planned on only staying for half an hour and having one drink to see what it was like, but we had so much fun. We ended up um, staying out pretty late, probably later than what we should have done because I did have a 5 a.m. call this morning. So plan for today is our last day in Budapest. So we're gonna be going to another one of the baths. So we're gonna go to the most popular bath. Um, it's called, wait, what is it called? Sizenchi, 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 Sizenchi. If there's any Hungarians watching, I'm gonna be screaming at me, but um, we're gonna go there. It's coming up to midday now so it's probably going to be the busiest time to go but whatever we'll go and have a relax go in the thermal pools hopefully go in a sauna and a steam room sweat out all of the alcohol and also maybe have a little bit of a nap outside by the outdoor pool because it is 32 degrees today we want to get a bit of sunshine and just enjoy our last day here in Budapest AD, what are you doing? something a little bit fresher and we've come to a place called Ono Poke Bowl. It's really cute in here, cool vibes, except there's no one in here so I'm hoping that's not a bad thing. Yeah. 